Hello, it's me again. Um, let's get this going. Um, you know, have you noticed like a lot of the videos that I do there had to do with the intelligent video analyze analyzation using the Jetson Nano and the NX. You know, and, and that that's good. But like the the Jetson, like NX and and uh, the Nano. I mean, they they they're good for like myriads of other other things. So the next couple of videos I'm going to produce, um, they're going to show like the other things that you can do with like like the Nano, and the, this one here is uh, about we're going to use Node Red to um, to uh, uh, run the GPIO pins on the Nano. So this is pretty simple. So first of all, you do the update. I'm going to go ahead and put all the links into everything I do, so you can do it yourself. First, we do the update, and then we do the upgrade. And kind of the one of the reasons I'm doing this first is because like we're going to utilize Node Red with the, some of the software packages that I'm going to show you like in the next uh, couple of videos. Let me do the upgrade, and then we need to install Node JS. And then we have to see what version. We have to have at least 8 and 10, version 8 and 10 of Node.js for this to work. So we see, go ahead and see what we got here. And then now we do the install of uh, Node.red. Anyway, I never worked with Node.red before, but I mess around with it. It's a kind of a neat little piece of software. I mean, it's really easy to to build like the what you need to do and it can pretty build pretty complex stuff so now that we got it loaded um, we're gonna do a little test on it to make sure our connections are good and then now all we do is we just a uh, start node red And then once that gets started, we just uh, open up a web browser and put this IP address in, and and off we go. We should bring up the Node Red dashboard. Once we get that done, we still got to load some some functions. We're going to be loading a dashboard. It gives us like switches and, and gauges, and then we're also going to load the the uh, a Raspberry Pi GPIO uh, controller. But we're going to make some modifications so it'll run the, in the Jetson Nano. So now we put the address in and bring bring up. I've already built something here, so let's get rid of that. And start the new. So on the left, you see these are the functions and the the things you can pick from. You know, all kinds of stuff in there. But we want to load the stuff we're going to use. So there's a couple ways to load it. You can load it uh, from your command line, or you can load it from the the palette manager. So as you can see, there's, uh, let me see, what do we got going on here? So you can either load it this way with the command line, or you can load it with the palette manager. And I would do it this way. This is like super, this is easy. And this puts everything where you where it needs to be. So you can see I've already kind of loaded some of them. So it won't let me load it again, but I'll show you how it was. This is how you search for the package, and then you it gives you the option to install. <clears throat> and as you can see, I can't spell very well, so it'll take a while. So you can see it brings all these options up and as you can see there's the dashboard right there and if I didn't have it already installed to the right of it would be the install option you just click on it same thing with the the GPIO pin thing you know you put that in there and, and you'll you can pick it and install it simple And there's all kinds of things in here you can install. I mean, like, I'm kind of just, you know, I'm only kind of uh, really care about, for my purposes, is the GPIO controllers because, you know, we're going to use that, 
later on with some of the other software I'm going to show you. Um, you know, like like the another one that I show you is like the I I work with software, a company in in where I work. See, and there's the GPI open. You install it if you if you needed it. <clears throat> if we didn't have it, uh, the the uh, the the work that I do, I'm a controls technician, so I use uh, like a lot of HMI SCADA software. Well, this one we have is called Ignition, and it's uh, it's really nice. It's it does a lot of things. Well, they've made a Maker Edition, so uh, that uh, you can uh, you know all the hobbyists and people like that that want to tinker like it's there for it. And it's a powerful piece of software. I mean, you can do like uh, what do we got going in here? Oh, by the way, to get this to run, the GPIO pin. Uh, uh, the Raspberry one to run. We have to go in and modify some of the uh, the the Python scripting in here. So to get it to run, I'll show you. You got to go to the uh, uh, GPIO library and make some modifications. So there we go. See right here. Now I go to the home directory and like uh, uh, if you notice some of these uh, packages are, are hidden. So you to get dot node red you might have to go in there and check uh, show hidden packages, show hidden files. I had to do that. Took me a while to figure that one out. Doi. And then you go to your node modules and we go find the one we want to uh, edit is the GPIO node red node pi gpio we can go find it in here then what we have to do is that's not it right there you notice there's two python scripts in here one there and one of the other so what we got to do is we got to make a little modification in there now as you can see there where it says import jetson.gpio it used to say import rpi.gpio so basically, get rid of RPI and replace it with Jetson with a capital J. Save it. Then you got to go do the other one. Uh, right there, that used to read say RPI.gpo. Make it say Jetson.gpio, and then you'll be golden. And once you do that, uh, close it, and then I did a little refresh on here, make sure everything was up to date. And once you do that, uh, all your uh, your it'll say our it'll say our I GPIO, but it's actually for the Jetson. It'll appear on the left hand side, and uh, I had some stuff in there already, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. So what we do is we go down to the dashboard functions and pull out a switch. There's all kinds of stuff, slider, switch, gauge, all kinds of stuff. And then there's the Raspberry Pi stuff that's actually running the, the, the Jetson. So let's pull out a switch. So a switch. If you notice on that, there's that, that red uh, triangle that pretty much says when that red triangle's gone, you've set it up correctly. So then you have RPI in and RPI GPO out. In is if you want to push, a, if you have a button and you want to go in. Out is if you're going to run like an LED. So first of all, we're going to open up the switch and we're going to set all this. Generally, you set it to default. And, and then this is set to Boolean, uh, which is true or false, but it's basically one and zero because the output is going to need a 1 and a 0. And then you go to the group right there and, and then you click on it. <clears throat> and then you set everything to the default. This is the tab. Click on it. Now you need to set this up right because if you don't set this up right, the, 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 the display that comes up to control this, uh, it won't see it. So you just basically set it up like this. Basically default. And then you do update, done, 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 and you're good. Uh, 
update done and you notice the 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 red triangles gone so it's it's a uh, it's happy and then we connect it with a line that's pretty neat just connect it like that and then we got to go set up the uh, the output and you so it's set up just like a Raspberry Pi we got pin 7 we pick pin 7 and that's that's all we got to do and then we just go done Now, once we do that, we got to make sure our Raspberry Pi is set up for like what we're doing. So we'll bring that up here in a second. It's deployed. And then to get it to run, you do just copy that and get rid of everything and put UI. You see like that, paste. And then back it up until you get to right and just put UI in there. And once you click it, it should bring up your, your screen here. And you see the my little switches in there. Now I'll show you what the uh, setup is on the, uh, the, the, the Nano. Let me see if I'm in it. Let's see. There we go. You can see uh, how the Nano is set up. I'm clicking this on and off and the lights going on and off and it's pretty simple it's just like you know pin 7 it's a uh, pin 7 out to one side of a 1k ohm resistor to one side of the LED back to ground and you can see as I'm clicking this the lights going on and off so we're controlling the pins with I mean that that was nice and neat and it's 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 pretty easy so uh, that's about it with this. I mean, the reason I showed you this first is because we're going to utilize this software later on down the road when we start uh, deploying that HMI SCADA software. We're going to use it to make uh, phone apps and web apps that are control the GPIO pins on the uh, um, uh, the Nano. Well, I guess that's about it. So, oh, by the way, stop this. Control C stops this. So. Anyway, that's about it. So good luck with that. I hope you have fun. Bye.